recording. Okay. Okay, welcome back. In this quick video, I just want to discuss uh, three values that uh, Energica has included in their Bluetooth uh, connection. So, values that you can retrieve by just having a phone connected to your bike. Although they are in the protocol, they are enabled, they are shared between the bike and the phone. Energica did choose not to show them in the My Energica app. And uh, I'll uh, I'll talk you through these three values today and then uh, you'll probably understand why they didn't show them. The first one has everything to do with um, the number that's written on the battery and that's something that any zero does it as well. For example, they have like the 14.4 kilowatt hour battery. In reality, that's only more like the nominal would be 12.6. Uh, for Energica as well, the nominal value would be 18.9 something. But then this is uh, the app connected with the bike and you can see like for the moment it's not fully charged anyway. But just to show you that the number is there and it shows a, a field that's called um, Reserved Battery Energy is the full name of the field. And it shows like 13.8 watt hours currently on my bike. Um, but yeah, it's currently it's at 88%. It's currently charging. That's why it's going up. So um, obviously they do use it to uh, get a calculation of the of the range that's left, together with the consumption. Those are the the, the fields that I do show on this uh, this view as well. But I just don't show the actual what num what our numbers. The speed. If you have an um if you have an Energica, then sooner or later you'll discover that the speed indication on the di on the display that I have here now that it's uh, overestimated by uh, around uh, 10 percent. So if you're going 100 kilometers an hour on the display, then in reality you only go like 90. Where it becomes an issue and uh, where I think most people are a bit annoyed of it is uh, that they do know the exact, uh, they, they do correct for it, for the odometer for instance, and they know, and for the consumption, so they do know the, the correct value. They just choose to um, yeah, show you one that's too high. Probably that helps with your range. If you're always riding uh, slower, you'll get more range. So th that might be a reason. Um, and uh, I think uh, if you're, if you, I, I know people that replaced, like, uh, I think they replaced the rear sprocket to achieve higher top speeds. Because that also means these bikes have an, uh, at least the Rebel and the SS9 have a top speed uh, software limited to uh, 200 kilometers an hour. But in reality, if you reach that speed, which I'll never reach in my life probably, but if, if you do, you're only going going 180. No, that my bike is charging the last value. So if I go to the Bluetooth low energy, but this charging field is the uh, interesting one. And you can see that the battery temperature is also listed in the Bluetooth low energy connections. Those are the three values that I found in the Bluetooth low energy connection that are there, but just well, kind of hidden, just not uh, displayed. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you do um, Android development, get a Samsung device. They are cheap and everyone has them. So uh, chances are high that uh, with one of these you'll be able to reproduce issues.